What's going on guys, it's Jake here. In this video, I'll be going over some of the best guns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare after the most recent patch. So this is gonna be only the guns, not the class setups or anything like that. But these guns, I feel like are a good mix. There's a mix of almost every single gun type in here and overall are just the best guns that I think you should maybe spend some time getting used to. But before we get into the video, if you enjoy the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Subscribing is absolutely free. You lose nothing if you subscribe, and if you don't end up liking my channel, you could always unsubscribe at a later date. But definitely feel free to subscribe and also leave a like if this video helps you at all. But anyways, getting right into it. So the first gun I'm going to talk about is the Kilo. So with the Kilo, why I like this one, why I'm talking about it first actually, is because it's a gun that everyone has as soon as they start off the game. So the Kilo, in my opinion, is probably the best weapon, or at least one of the best weapons you'll get, and I think you just get it as soon as you are able to unlock a class. So the Kilo 141, there's a lot of different attachments and different perks you can put on it, stuff like that. Kind of depends um, how long uh, you've been uh, using the weapon for and how much you level it up, as with every single gun. But this gun really is solid. It's an assault rifle. Um, it has a pretty good fire rate. It has pretty steady fire as well. It does okay damage. I don't think it's necessarily the best assault rifle, but it definitely is worthy to be on this list and it's good at medium to close range and i personally like it a lot and if you actually do feel like it you can take the stock off as with many of these assault rifles and you can actually make it into a pretty decent smg but anyways moving on to the next gun next gun also a gun that is in one of the just uh, normal classes that you get when you first start the game and this is the fr 5.56 so this is a burst rifle and this is also an assault rifle so why i like this one a lot actually is because again you can do it pretty easily and or you can get it pretty easily it's one of the first guns you can use in just the basic creative class it does take a little longer to unlock into your actual like creative class when you have to make the class yourself but either way this gun can actually one shot people and it does actually melt if you can hit your shots so with a gun like that it's more useful for medium to long range it's not super great at close range but honestly with overkill in this game this is definitely a class setup that i could be using with overkill that is pretty decent in my opinion so with this gun right here again it's burst some people might like that some people might not like that i think it's pretty good and it definitely deserves to be on this list after that is another assault rifle and this is probably the most popular one right right now is the m4a1 and it's actually one of the best or the top guns that i've gotten the most kills with this gun is just super easy to use pretty much on any map and it's um been nerfed and buffed quite a bit in the recent updates and patches but it still is super super good and one thing, like I was saying before, that I would recommend doing on this is get ridding, getting rid of the stock or just using a smaller stock and really making this into a mobile type gun. This is also a really good gun that can be used with some sort of overkill with a shotgun or maybe even a sniper or something like that. Because overall, it is a really, really solid gun and definitely one of the best assault rifles out there. After that is going to be the M13. So the M13 is one that you unlock a bit later. You have to be a decently high level to unlock this one, but it is also one that is really good. It has a high rate of fire and the recoil is relatively low on this. And overall, honestly, it is just a really, really solid assault rifle. But like I said, this is one that you have to be a little bit higher of a level to unlock than some of these other ones, but it still is super, super good. And in my opinion, in the higher level assault rifles like the Odin, the M13, the Scar, and the AK, I think the M13 13 might be the best besides maybe the AK-47. After that is actually going to be a bit of a different one and it is going to be the FAL. So this one again is an assault rifle that you can get relatively early. You don't have to be a very high level to get this one. And with the FAL, it is a semi-automatic rifle, but it has a very, very high rate of fire for faster follow-up shots. So with this, if you have even like a decent trigger finger, you don't even have to be that great, you know, depending if you're playing on console or PC or whatever, this thing can shoot super, super fast. And overall, I really, really like it for like those medium to long range maps rather than using some sort of marksman rifle or a sniper rifle or other assault rifles. This thing can absolutely melt through people, especially if you can line up a few headshots Overall, it's really good in my opinion. It is super powerful if you can hit those shots. But of course, this is one that I think you should definitely use with overkill because if you plan on getting in any close range battles, the FAL is not going to really do the trick. Definitely more of a long range gun. <laughs> 
After that is going to be probably the most notorious weapon in the game so far, which is the 725 shotgun. So this shotgun, I mean, it just simply deserves to be on this list. Although a lot of people might hate it and they may hate getting killed by it, it is still a very, very good shotgun. It's definitely the best in the game, in my opinion. There's a ton of different ways that you can actually go to the gunsmith and switch this thing up depending on your play style. But either way, overall, I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly, what perks you put on this gun. There's a ton of different ways to play with this, and it is super, super OP still, even though they have done quite a bit of nerfs to it. But either way, it is a very good gun. It has pretty decent range for a shotgun. It is just overall just good, close range, medium range. But obviously, this is going to be one that you're not going to want to use in a long range map. But this definitely could be used as sort of a secondary weapon to maybe supplement like a sniper or some sort of assault rifle. Something like that that might not be too good at close range. After that is going to be the Car 98K. So this, in my opinion, is the best sniper rifle slash marksman rifle. So it's actually in the marksman rifle category. Only problem with this is that you do not get it to later levels. I do not like the EBR or the MK2 carbine. I do not. I just don't like them at all. I think the car is the best by far if you're going for like sort of like almost a intervention quick scope type deal with uh, the old Modern Warfare. I really, really think this gun is uh, the best for doing some sort of quick scoping stuff. I mean, some of the night snipers like the AX50 and the HDR are decent, but in my opinion, the car 98K is by far the best one and it is really really good for long range as well as if you're trying to do some close range quick scoping as well and you could definitely switch out the perks kind of depending on what you're wanting to do with that but overall i mean this is a one shot kill heading up i pretty much always get one shot kills with this one seems to be the only one that's consistent with that even looking at some of the sniper rifles and overall it is really really good after that is going to be the mp5 so in my opinion the mp5 is probably my favorite gun to play with it's honestly probably the best gun in the game in my opinion this is an smg the first smg on this list actually and it is by far the best gun if you're playing shoot house 24 7 besides maybe the 725 so with this gun it's just actually a lot of the gameplay for this video i absolutely melt people with this um specifically in this one i use a uh, sleight of hands also use the 10 millimeter auto 30 rounds mag so with this one you do increased damage increased range and then you also just have 30 rounds in your mag which i think makes this gun absolutely op and then i also use a tactical foregrip um, I use a barrel, which I use the most basic one, just simply because I don't have all of them unlocked yet. It's actually pretty high levels that you get most of them unlocked, so I haven't really tried those out. And then I do a close quarter stock, and there's also other stocks that you can use that are pretty decent as well. But in my opinion, if you're playing a map like this, the close quarter stock is definitely the best. And then uh, for muzzle, laser, optic, I don't use anything, and I also don't use a rear grip. The only muzzle I could use is some sort of suppressor. Maybe if I'm playing search and I just don't want my enemies to see me, but it does take a little bit of a reduction down on the damage with the gun and the range with the gun. So in my opinion, if you're playing like something like shoot house, it is a little bit better to not use a uh, sort of muzzle or a sort of uh, suppressor or anything like that. But this gun absolutely mows through people, especially if you put that extended mag on it. And I mean, you don't necessarily need sleight of hands on this one because you are using a bigger mag, but I just like it on quick maps like that so I don't die while reloading. Um, after that is going to be the MP7. So the MP7, again, is another submachine gun, and this will be the last one that you unlock. But the MP5 and the MP7, in my opinion, are the only submachine guns that are worth using. This has a very, very high rate of fire and actually very low recoil. So in my opinion, it's slightly better than the Uzi, even though the Uzi is kind of a similar gun. I mean, even if you just look at them, they like aesthetically look similar in the game. But MP7, in my opinion, is a little bit better. It has just overall just feels better when you're shooting with it. It doesn't seem like it has as much recoil. And it is probably the next best submachine gun besides the MP5. And in my opinion, none of the other ones are really worth using too much. I mean, I've seen some people with decent gameplay with the AUG and the P90, but um, besides that, I mean, the MP5, in my opinion, is by far the best, and then the MP7 would be right after that. And last but not least on this list is actually an LMG, which is going to be the PKM. 
So the PKM, in my opinion, I don't really like a lot of the M LMGs in this game. I mean, I haven't seen too many people using them too much. I don't seem to die from them too often. Seems like mostly people who are using them are just using them to take down air control. Um, I kind of wish Modern Warfare would have like put a little bit more time into these. It seems like they were almost lazy with these. A lot of the other guns they seem to put a lot more time and effort into, just simply because I don't really see too many people using these guns. But either way, the PKM uses 7.26 millimeter ammo, and in my opinion, is the best one, and you do unlock it right away, so that is a plus as well. And overall, this thing really can mow people down. Like I, I don't know, I haven't really used the other ones too much. I've used the SA87 a little bit, but not a big fan of a lot of the light machine guns. Again, I just simply think the uh, PKM is the best. But you know, this isn't my favorite gun or anything like that. Uh, but it is one that I think is somewhat worthy to be on this list, but it definitely was one of the later guns that I added. But other than that, guys, is really it for this video. So again, the guns I went through was the Kilo, the FR 5.56 Burst, the M4A1, M13, FAL, 7.25 Shotgun, Car 98K, MP5, MP7, and the PKM. So those, in my opinion, are the 10 best guns in modern warfare in my opinion those guns should be on this list and if you're just looking for some decent guns to play with i think these ones could fit the bill pretty nicely and there are some other ones i will say are honorable mentions like for example the shit for shotguns the model 680 in my opinion is an honorable mention and then there's also some sniper rifles that are kind of decent like i do like the hdr and then also the riot shield is kind of fun to play with as well but it wouldn't just necessarily fit on a list like this and also the ak-47 is definitely an honorable mention as well but other than that guys is really it for this video so like i said before if you're new to the channel definitely consider subscribing it doesn't hurt you or anything if you do subscribe and if you don't end up liking the channel you could always feel free to unscribe unsubscribe so it really is a win-win situation there for you and also if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and let me know what your favorite gun is in the comment section below but other than that guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed